Minecraft Mentor here and today we're going over the conveyor belts from Immersive Engineering. So if we look here, this is based, the uh, very basic conveyor belt just runs from a uh, output down the line. And now the next version is the splitter. This one takes uh, a stack or item and 50% this way, 50% that way, which is pretty much in its name. It splits the items. There is no filter on this. You're going to have to use a different item for that. Next, we have our redstone conveyor belt. So when this is given a redstone signal, you can see the conveyor belt itself has stopped moving. Very straightforward. When we turn that one back on, here's the one that's covered. So anytime an item passes by here, it'll suck up into your inventory if you get too close. You don't have that problem with the, the uh, covered versions, which is really nice. Moving on, we have another splitter here going up to the trapdoor or the dropper conveyor belt. Now this one basically has a trap door and it will drop any item down into a chest over here or if there's empty space below it, it will also drop the item like that. You can decide whether this one is running or not with a redstone signal so you can kind of close the trap door and it'll pass right over if you don't want anything coming down this little trail here or, or a conveyor belt line. So we're going to open that up. Next we have the extractor conveyor belt and this is how you pull items out of chests and some machines require it. This one is also controlled by uh, redstone if you like. If you open it up, it'll start uh, extracting items from the chest if they're in there. Finally, over here, the last one, and I should note that almost all of these do have covered versions like this over here, including the vertical uh, conveyor belt, which is super handy if you're trying to bring items up into a, a silo or some sort of storage system instead of using this little staircase design, this saves a ton of space. Very, very useful. And it just comes up here, and if there's a conveyor belt right next to it, it will jump off this uh, upward or vertical version, drop right down onto a regular conveyor belt. So it should be noted that we can also insert items onto conveyor belts using hoppers. So if I toss in these levers or those, it's going to drop them down into the conveyor belt itself. And that's pretty much it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.